Hi, Christian. Thank you so much for joining me on the Well Vegan Travel Podcast. Hi, Bridie. Nice to be in your podcast. Oh, I'm thrilled to have you here to talk about this incredible project that you have going on and all about the area around your vegan resort in Germany. But why don't you tell us a little bit about like how you got involved in this project and what it is that people can expect when they come? Oh, it's a long story. I hope we have three or four hours. In short words, I'm one of the two CEOs and we founded a full vegan company in Berlin, the capital of Germany, 2017. And it's a full vegan organic catering. It's possible to have a full vegan catering in Berlin. We have a lot of clients and yeah, good market for this. But in 2017, a lot of people say, oh, no chance, only vegan. You must have vegetarian option or meat, vegetarian and vegan or so. We started as a vegan company and we're still now a vegan company. Over the years, we decide, we expand, we are a fully business caterer. So I think it's special because we don't live from the small birthdays or small little vegan parties. Uh, we live from the big events, congresses, full vegan catering and big events and congress from Monday to Friday. We like weddings too and birthdays, it's no problem, but the main market is business catering. And I think it's special because we are union organized 100%. We are the only vegan company with a union a collective bargaining. I think in Germany is very special working class movement that we have strong unions, but not in our gastronomy. So my background is worked uh, yes, as a union activist. That's why we have a strong union point of view. Now I'm the CEO because we must build a company for the vegan. We have no companies where we can hire for the job or so, so we must do it of our own. The vegan resort, after three years, we make it in Berlin. We think about it. We need a full vegan place owned from us because in Berlin we rent the kitchen but we want to build up a complete vegan place with a lot of luck we find in Mecklenburg in the northeast of Germany near the Baltic Sea coast we find an area we buy it and we change it from the first day to a completely vegan place so we can all the old clients and customers from the first day and the first of October 2020 we have the vegan resort that's the beginning until now we have the vegan resort and the Berlin company so we have two types of the vegan possibilities yeah we have the gastronomy catering events congress big things we have a big crew Meanwhile, and we have the smaller parts, uh, quietness, the nature in Mecklenburg. I grew up in Mecklenburg, Vorpommern. That's why I can speak the language of the village and I can speak the language of the big city. We combined here in the village because we have only 110 inhabitants at the full vegan place. Sometimes people wonder, but we can speak both languages. I didn't realize there was a different language up there. That's so interesting. It's the idea of having some sort of catering company and resort, it's quite a leap there, but it's interesting because I recently learned about a couple of restaurants in Toronto, which is not where I live, but it's a big city in Canada. They're opening up a resort, a vegan resort, just north of Toronto, maybe two or three hours up. So it seems like this is an interesting model that a few people are doing, having some sort of business in the city and then creating this space outside and having it as a resort, like a place where you can just go and not have to leave so much and not have to worry about food, all of those kinds of things. It just sounds like so much fun. So tell me a little bit about like what your resort looks like. And then of course, I'd like to get a little bit bigger and talk about Mecklenburg and why people might be interested in going there but tell us what can people expect if they come to your resort first it's funny because we have a canadian vegan chef so i don't know the model in toronto but it sounds like similar for us so the canadian germany bridge is open the resort is in the mid of the mecklenburg it's 50 kilometers from the baltic sea coast that's why it's not on the coastline it's in the backland it's very quiet here it's the biggest lake plate in germany called the Müritz. it's 40 kilometers away and we are on the north of this lake area the vegan resort resort is only a few hundred meters from one of the biggest lakes in Germany, the Kumoer See, and eighth biggest lake in Germany. But I think all Germans only know the three or four first big lakes. But we have here one of the greatest. This is not so special because the lakes you have everywhere. We have a special situation. We have one of the biggest moors who became a moor area back for 13 or 14 years. And we are on the border of this moor. I think 
is like a very British expression. I'm not sure that North Americans would know this word, possibly, but basically it's like a grass band. Yeah, the grass band getting wetter and wetter. You must expect for the German history, all areas are here were drying for the farmers, for the farmer industry, the big wheat area here for the environment and to see you too. Problems when you get the landscape back to more, it's getting the wetter, wetter. It's a normal situation in Mecklenburg. 200 years ago and this is very special project here around the lake so very interesting to be part of it because it changed every year it's so interesting to see how the birds coming back more than 300 different birds here they are secured in this area it's a project from scientists from the university near here but we have more farmer, farmer who try to organize it. And we have areas no one is allowed to go. And you can see it in the binoculars. To watch them is so interesting. This is a special. We are on the border. The wet grassland people who want to discover this. And you leave the nature alone. Yeah, you can see it here in the wood and in this area. Our food is special. It's uh, organic certified, 100%. We make everything of our own. Catering and here. 0% convenience food, nothing. Everything is handcraft and it's a special for me, cooking chefs that we think about it. How can we produce only high class vegan food and to have it for normal prices because we are working class company and we want to have it. It's not bad to a yoga or a spiritual people. I like that we get in the midst of the society, the women and the men who work every day hard, that they can discover the vegan food. I think it's special to produce this food. We have small houses where you can live in with different sizes for families when you are alone or two persons. The special situation is you arrive by train or by car. When you are here and you eat something, you can go in this wood and to the area of the moor I described. It's I think I understand now more about this project that you're talking about that's been going for 15 years or so. Please tell me if I understand well that it's a rewilding project. So in the past, it was cultivated or grazed on, or depending. Some people have decided that this is a good place to rewild it. And then, of course, that's when you start seeing all of these returning species of animals. And it is really rather special. Is that what you're saying? That this is like a rewilding project? right? Yes, correct. That's so interesting. I have done a little bit of research on rewilding projects around the place. And I think that if we could just rewild a decent amount back of the earth, it would solve a lot of the world's problems. It really would just to give animals some of their habitat back and revert some of this grazing land to forest. This would really make such a huge difference. And I would love to see a project like this firsthand. So tell me, how is it that you get to this place, the Mecklenburg and the hotel? You mentioned you can go there by train and by bus, and you mentioned that it's in the Baltic Sea, but how far is it? I'm wondering if people would need to make a special visit here from Berlin. Tell me about that. Yeah, no problem. One sentence to the topic. I think you can see the connection. We need less grasslands for the animals because we are vegan. And so we have more place to give the nature back in the wilderness. And it's good for the whole situation with our nature and the CO2 problems. I'm not a fan to have a dramatic situation for our nature problems and for the climate collapse. I don't want to have it on this because I think we can change everything. So we can try to have it in our everyday life to change something. But here you can see it too. We make products to widen again the woods and the grasslands. But some people must to do it and not only talk. In the past, I see a lot of people who fight for a good nature life. And when you travel, I think you come in from North America and Frankfurt. I think it's the biggest airport. You travel to Berlin or to Hamburg and from here, it's not far away. You can travel by train. You have a little bit bigger cities in the area, 15, 20 kilometers around. It's Malchin or Demin and you can reach these cities on a normal train from Berlin, for example. Two hours, 20 minutes around with a regional express. I don't know what it's called in North America, but it's the slowest train, but you can reach it when you stay in Berlin. You can eat vegan options in Berlin a lot of, and then you can come to us. That's no problem. I collect from the railway station. 
Or you can go by bus. We have a bus station in front of the weekend resort, but we are in the village. The bus will arrive every hour or every half an hour, I think three times a day. When you have a little bit of luck, you can go through from the railway station with the bus. Or when it's not, I collect the people, no problem. I see. When you come from a big city to us, you must slow down. You see, when you go by car or by train, first it's full. A lot of people, and with every kilometer you reach us nearer, you see it's green. It's not so much people. It's very yeah. nice. I love the fact that you are trying to make this resort like an accessible place for working class people to go and have a few days away with their families without it being like super, super expensive. So who is your market? Are they mostly German tourists or Europeans? Or do you sometimes get some North Americans? And now our Canadian chat is the first and only North America people till now, since three years. I think it's time now. Yeah. Our neighbor is from USA. It's a funny thing. He was longer than we are here. Yeah, Mike is from USA. So when people want to talk with you, American people, we have one neighbor. The most people are German. We have from Netherlands. I can count it on one hand. Czech Republic, Austria. I don't know how the other hotspots in Germany handle it. I don't know. But we have internationals who live in Berlin. When they live in Berlin and they speak only English, I'm not at booking.com. So... I like that the people discover us and talk about it in their family and friendships or on read book together, but I don't like booking.com or so commercial sites. I understand. Now I know that booking.com has its problems for sure. Myself, I love collecting vegan hotels. I like going to vegan hotels or resorts or places Firstly, to support them and just to see what's going on because I find it so interesting. And I've been lucky enough to visit a few now, mostly in Italy. But Germany really does have quite a few vegan bed and breakfasts and small hotels and even some slightly larger hotels as well. It's really interesting. Many, many more than North America, I will tell you that for sure. So tell me a little bit more about some excursions that people could enjoy. You've already told me that there are some beautiful countryside to observe and to see this incredible rewilding project. That's a destination in itself, in my opinion. But what about some other activities or some attractions that people might like to do when they come to your area once they step foot out of the property? Yeah, we have different people. Sometimes people are on the area to chill and the weather is good. We have uh, 70,000 meters area in front of the wood. When they have dogs, they can go with the dogs in the wood and in the nature. So it's one of the most activities. When you have the little child, the child can play in front of the houses so that the parents doesn't control it where the kids are. Germany is very peaceful. You can let the kids play outside. No one think about it. They have football where they can play. When we have small groups, it's very special. They can sit together, eat something. Together, they have a good family time or friendship time. We have the fireplace place. Imagine you sit here when it's night, the bright stars and everything around is dark. No city lights and you see the whole area. It's very nice. It's a little bit romantic here for people. Over the day, the big lake area, the biggest in Germany, the Müritz, it's very interesting to see. And that's big. The Baltic Sea is only one hour away with the car. A lot of people drive to the hot spots here. You can go in the Baltic Sea for swimming or to be on the beach. We have big islands in here. It's the island Usedom and the island Rügen, famous for beaches and the whole tourist thing. The nice one is we have the half pension so that you can eat breakfast here very well. You make your day trip and you come back and the dinner is ready. This is a good point. No one must cook something in his own house. We prepared everything. We make it all. And you have the whole day around this half pension. You get two times very special high class vegan food. So that is the thing. I love that. Yes, it's very interesting. A lot of the time in Europe, in the countryside, they have, usually we call it half board, where breakfast and dinner is included in the price and then sometimes you can get full board you can lunch as well but it sounds like you're a half board kind of setup it sounds like a very community orientated place i'm wondering whether it's like communal dining or does each room have their own table are there ways for guests to get to know each other because i'm imagining if they're all vegan guests they've all got something in common so i'm wondering whether it's a place to meet others 
Yeah, this is the concept. That's why you will uh, book us. You must book the half board because full board is not possible only when you have a wedding or a family event. You rent the whole houses or so we can discuss it. But in normal for tourists, we not make full because of the working hour. We are the union company like in Berlin. We are here too. So we have working times and we must think about it. How we can pay one chef. So good. The reason resort is too small and I don't like to have a restaurant. A restaurant is not the same quantity because when the chef can organize the food and we have the times we discuss with the people, okay, dinner is at half past six. Then the chef had the food creativity to make three courses in the evening of their own. Absolutely fresh. We make it vegan and full organic. That's why when you book us, the half board is uh, included from the beginning of the booking because we have not only Jesse's our main chef here, but we have other chefs. We have one chef who organized the food and that's why we need the organization about the half board. That's your, your first question was if we all come together. Yes, that's why we can plan it. It's our point that we see all people together at breakfast time and in the dinner because we have a political situation. We all come to the vegan resort because we like eat vegan food and and we like to fight against the animal exploitation. Not everyone has the same stand. Not everyone here is totally vegan as a guest. We as owners, we are vegan. But not all guests, they want to try something. We want to discuss it. Sometimes more, sometimes less. I have so many good people that we meet here. We have so many nights. We discuss everything. Not only the vegan movement about political situation in Germany. The situation with the USA and Germany. Some uh, special situations. I'm very political. The whole company is political. That's why we laugh to discuss with the people when they like it. They come and want to eat and they discuss this. You have to know this typical situation for a service crack. Yeah, who comes on the table, ah, hi, hi, what do you want to eat? Yeah, on the card, so we don't do it. We stand on the same, we create this the area here and we create the food. The people pay for it and this is the same. We meet together. So that's where we, we try to bring together at the times when we eat. Sometimes people who don't know each other, they come on the big tables and sit together on the big table, talk a bit and then everything is fine. I have a different situation with the table, sometimes in, sometimes out. So you can sit outside, there's a roof on it and it's very nice, but sometimes it's a little bit cold and they go in. Sometimes different situation, but from us, I talk with everyone of the guests and ask how I'm doing, where I come from. It sounds absolutely fascinating. How many rooms do you have? How many people do you have when you're at maximum capacity? Yeah, we have the nine houses, three different sizes. When we are full, we have 24 beds and you can rise up with a sleeping couch to 32. So when we have a wedding here, small wedding, but very intensive for three or four days together here. It's very nice for smaller weddings because you can talk with the people better. With kids on sleeping couches, I think 30, 32 is possible. But when there are only tourists here, I only want to book with, that everyone has a real bed. Then we have 24 beds in nine houses with different sizes. What are your plans? Do you have any big plans for the resort? Would you like to? do other resorts around Germany or are you quite happy with what you've got for now and just working on that? I've always liked to know about people's hopes and dreams. Yeah, I don't tell here. We rescued pigs from the mass industry and oh. they lived here. We rescued four, but we have now three. One was very old and slipped away last autumn. And this is our growth. We, the company paid the food and paid everything we need for them. The doctor cost and so on. They are part of our vegan resort. So three big pigs, Rocky, Aria. And uh, Libera, the it Italian name for freedom. And Arya from Game of Thrones and the killer of the Night King. And Rocky that from the boxing Rocky because he was a little baby pig. The farmer decided to kill him because he was too small and the actor was rescued. And he comes here for one week, a little baby pig on my arm here. And now he's two and a half year old. He weighs 230 kilograms. We have uh, the big uh, lift and that's very nice to see. The little Rocky is now a big Rocky. I bet these pigs are popular with the adults and especially the kids too that come and stay. That would be so lovely. That's something that I'm noticing a lot of small sanctuaries are opening up some sort of accommodation to support the work. 
that they're doing. And sometimes it's the other way around as a little hotel or a small accommodation that's vegan decides to bring in some rescued animals into their space as well, which of course is very nice indeed. Righty, the dreams in short, because we are not the CEOs who want to expand, expand like a capitalist company. So every decision have a quality decision and we are a working class company. So that's why we only do things where we see we can work with people who have good wages. Hi, as for German situation, I think in Germany, we are the first company who had the minimum wage for chef is 3000 euros a month. I think for the gastronomy in the whole world, as for Germany, we are the first. We have it in a collective bargaining. So for 38 hours a week, that's a full working situation that is very important that everything what we do must have the quality vegan organic when we expand the place must be nice we must find good people pay good wages and it's the vegan resort is a fantastic place i have one child he's 50 and i have only one child so that's why i like one child and the vegan resort is a special place it has a history why we do it, how we do it here. We rebuild a lot of things here because we buy it. Then we change a lot of things here. The company in Berlin is special and the crew is special. When we do a next thing, the dream is I want to have a vegan handicraft, the bricking thing, woodworking, so that we have a vegan working build up companies or we make something for the old people when you get older and older in germany you get in places where old people live at the rest of their life the vegan options are very less so we work on it and we think about it and you need two three four years for this to build up vegan service for old people that they get good food i think that's like a retirement facility yeah. sometimes there's nursing care there as well depending on yeah, the yeah. needs of the older people but yeah that's a really great point i've never thought about that a, a vegan retirement place i'm sure that at some point i will need some help with food and cleaning and things like that i would love to find a place that aligned with my values that's really an incredible goal for you all that's amazing christian this just sounds like such an amazing project that you're a part of i can't wait to come and check this out for myself it just sounds so interesting and an interesting part of the world that i've never really considered going to but the fact that there's this special place makes me want to come but other people that are listening to this podcast that are like me would like to come and check it out whether they are from north america or somewhere else please tell us the website and the social media handles we'll of course have them linked in the show notes for this episode but please tell us anyway yeah this would be very nice when you brady will come here and stay a few days i will looking forward it's no problem in two years and three years and five years or next week <laughs> You can decide and when your life brings here, I think you will have a good days. We are looking forward and we will be very happy about it. For all other people, you can use our homepage for everything because we have no booking.com or anything else. Use our homepage, uh, www.oneNameVeganResort.com. Uh, DE for Germany. The homepage is in German, but I think now in the situation you live in, you can use a Google translator and oops, I unlock a lot of English sites and then I press the translator and show everything in German. That's why I think you can use it. And when you have problems or don't understand it, please call us so we can discuss all your questions and situations when you travel through Germany or you want to come and stay here, we find a way. Yeah. I love it. And I'm just looking at your website right now. And yes, Google Translate popped up and invited me to switch to English. It's very easy to navigate. I think people will find it very easy. And I really hope that some people will check you guys out because what you're doing is so cool. Thank you so much for joining me today, Christian. Yeah, thank you, Bridie.